continuing on from the previous video so we've now connected to data that's online so I'm going to go ahead and just build something uh, and I'll just do this let's just do I'm just gonna do something really simple team and salary something like that put a label on maybe some color and sort okay so just something really simple just to have something all right let's say um, let me start again so let's say I'm going to I need to update the data how do I do that right I can't actually go here and go edit data source because it's just the connection I haven't got access to the raw data so the way it works is let's say I go back to my original one right because we're pretending we're just a user at this point So if I go back to here I go back to my designer one right to modify this data source if I right click and go edit it's gonna bring me to this page and you'll see this button right here that comes up, this little downward thing. And what that does is it lets me download the data source itself, right? It's the actual structure of it, right? So if I click on MBA salaries, it's going to ask me, where do you want to save your extract to? Let's say I'm just going to put in downloads, save. Okay. And you're going to notice this new connection, right? And you can see that it hasn't got the Tableau thing. What this is, is the actual design of my data source or the connection. So if I go edit data source on this one, right, it goes back to that original one that you saw. Okay. And let's say I'm going to make some modifications. Let's say I'm doing create calculated field, whatever, whatever, right. Uh, let's actually do one. Let's call this new and I'm just going to make a value one. Okay. So it's that new one. If you come into, or if you go into this one, Right, which we had connected to the data that field we just created isn't here because I need to update the raw data set. Okay, so now if I come back to sheet seven, I'm going to publish this one again and replace the one we had published before. If I go server, publish data source, local copy. All right, I'm going to look for MBA salaries, All right, not that one, MBA salaries. Okay, data source is already in use, publishing will override it. Okay, that's what we want. Uh, we don't want to turn this on anymore because we've already got a connection, so we just go publish. Yes, we want to overwrite. All right, so that's gone ahead and published that data set. So we'll just wait for that to finish up. And then I'll show you what the connected data set looks like it should automatically have that new field in it okay so that's been published again okay that's all good and we close that so now if I go into MBA salaries right you'll see that calculation is there right if I go to the other one that we connected to right you can see it's not in here so I just right click I go refresh it's going to refresh that data connection and that new data set we made is now in there, right? So pretend you have 50 people doing this. Everyone now has that field available to them, okay? Rather than sending out heaps of heaps and heaps of files, All right? So again, another benefit of using cloud. All right, so before we finish up, I just want to talk about one last thing, which is possibly introducing some sort of staging process. And what that means is, Sometimes people are tempted to just start using data sources that they have no understanding of and start writing up conclusions. Now, if you work in data, then you know you got to understand what the data is, who made it, what the integrity is, is it actually right, was it a test one, was it a prototype, is it dummy data? You got to ask all these questions before you start using it and reporting on it. Because if I go to the president and be like, hey, we went over budget, it's like, oh crap, that's bad, but I was using some made up file that's not good. Right, so a staging process prevents that. And if you are a designer, you are only going to release published data sources that are certified. Ones that you have proven they're they're good, they're ready for use, anyone could use them, go ahead and use them, right? So what I recommend is if we go Tableau online, any of your published data sources that you are not sure yet, you're still designing, you're still prototyping, create a project in here. All right, so we'll create, we'll go project, and we go sandbox, let's say, right, we'll give it some sort of description later on. 
okay, from here, and then publish your data sources in here, okay, so that no one can see them. And if you want to lock them, we're just going to go permissions, okay, click in here, edit, and then just lock this down, all right? So we just go denied, all right, denied, denied, all right? So no one can use it except you, all right? So you lock everybody down. Okay. Once you're happy with it, move it out of that folder, right? Let's get out of here for a second. Once you're happy with it, where's budget? Pretend this is that sandbox folder. We're going to click here. We're going to go move and move it to the location where you're saying, all right, everybody, you're, you're okay to use this now. All right. So we'll finish up there. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.